Hey guys, I'm the Sky Spire, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Poke Park 2. Last time, we just befriended a bunch of Pokemon after finally restoring order to yet another one of the quadrants of Wish Park. Very, very nice indeed. We made a ton of friends here in, well, just the entire Arbor area in general, and we're going to make just a couple of more along with a few optimizations before we just head off to the Crag area. Specifically, we're going to go off with Vaporeon. Thank you for bringing me back from Wish Park on a day like this. It's nice to run, isn't it? How about I want to get your body moving, your heart pumping? She's a water type, and we're slimy, we're fast, she wants to race. We're fine, we have got this in the bag, and that's why I just want to do this. This is where you start, this is the goal, is under the arc-shaped tree over there. All the way at the end, where the stump is, basically. So this shouldn't be too bad, but yeah. Alright guys, so anyway, uh, today, mainly what I want to do is 20 seconds. That is a very short amount of time, I do not like that, but that shouldn't be too fine. Or, that shouldn't be too bad, that should not be fine, man. That shouldn't be too bad, since we have Snivy, Snivy's fast. Um, but the thing is, uh, today, we're... I am planning to basically be preparing for the Crag area, maybe heading towards the Crag area. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be befriending a couple of more Pokemon here, including Psyduck, who I think I know how to befriend now. Uh, Psyduck wants to uh, picture of a friend from the, uh, you know, from the uh, thing, from, god, from the Cove area, and that's what we're going to be doing. But anyway, here's Vaporeon, very nice. Vaporeon's a very nice evolution. I, I like Vaporeon, one of my favorites. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to be doing is, we're actually going to be using the Driftloom service now. It's not even really an official service, yet it's, it's Driftloom, so hey, it's a service now. Would you like a ride? So by talking to Driftloom, you can just immediately just have her fly you over to any place, and we are going to be going to Seasong Beach in the Cove area. Are you ready? Let's go! Alright, and here we are in Seasong Beach. Now, the th what Psyduck wants is, if you look at his friend list entry, by going over here and speaking over to Psyduck, I think we just passed by him, there he is. He says his friend is in the cove area, likes to play hide and seek, and has membranes on his arms. If we go over here, I believe, and this is all just for memory, oh god! Okay, yes sir. Oh, okay, this is a problem. Bam! There we go. Watch out, you're a meanie pants. Oh god, hey, 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 hey sir, I, I want to talk. Uh, just take his treasure, just take his treasure. Wow, wow, yeah, th that is not what I was expecting. Got it. What did I get? Ten hard hats. What, is that really what you were regarding? Well, your watch is dumb. Open the treasure chest under my watch is very impressive. What's inside is all yours. And you befriend him. <laughs> that's one of the weirdest ways to befriend somebody, man. Alright, well, that's watch And, okay. Now, what I was thinking of was above the... Okay, we just need to use Snivy. There we go. Okay. It's in this little area, I believe. I remember it. I wanna... Here we go! I wanna glide gracefully. What am I doing? I'm looking for a hiding place. Hide and seek is so much fun. Hey, I have an idea. I'll hide in the place I just found. Try to find me, okay? Yes, it is Emolga. Psyduck's friend is Emolga. He finally found somebody. <laughs> oh, crap. Emolga's a guy. <laughs> Great, I'll go hide, so just give me a second, okay? Uh, the boat on that beach might be nice. Oh, shoot. Wait, there's a boat? Uh... Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, wait, I didn't know there- Oh, da 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 there's a boat. Wait, no, no, Yeah, okay, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Like, it's one of those kinds, but yeah, it's down by the beach near the Maractus. Right over there. Hello, Amoga. I see you there. Boom! Okay, yeah, can't tackle. Just... Have to politely talk. Can't be all cool and American. Like, hey, yo, I just found you. All right, come on, let's go back home. Man. Give me your money. Thank you for the monies. Okay, Prefender to Molga. And now, what Psyduck wanted was a picture of his friend, Molga. So, we're just going to be doing that. Let's take a less creepy picture. That's cute. It's a cute picture. Molga's adorable, and I'm kidding. She's just another one of those electric rodents. Like, pretty much every generation has its own electric rodent, just like how Generation 1 had uh, Pikachu, there's Puzzle and Minin, there's Pachirisu. For this generation, it was, uh, um, Emolga. Generation 6 had Dedene. You know, like, they just have some of those trends. Like, in Generation 6, like, or, like, in every generation, they had their own, where am I going? Their own flying bird. Like, we had their, uh, you know, freaking. Pidgeot, uh, I can't remember Generation 2's, then Suello, then, uh, Staravia, 
Unpheasants, Talonflame, you, you get it. <laughs> Alright, I just need to go to that little land. Yes, I would like a lance, really. Rance! But yes, I would like a ride back to Verdant Court so we can just show that picture to... Uh, Psyduck. And since this animation takes so long and you can't skip it, I'm gonna be cutting. Alright, back in Verdant Core, we're just gonna go over to our old buddy Psyduck, and... <laughs> oh no, you're learning from Seismito, that's not good. Just go over there, and actually, let's see what uh, Snivy's percent is at now. 26! A lot better than the 6% he, uh, Snivy had before, and it's on par with the rest, with these other two. Yeah, have Snivy overthrow the percentage of uh, Pikachu and Oshawa in a while, which would be great. And you'll see why, because I want to show the name that you get for playing a sniper the most. Did I ask you before? I can't remember the one I was supposed to meet. He's from the Colberry, he likes hide and seek, his memories on his arms. Amulga. Ah, that's right, Amulga! Thank you, finally I remembered. Oh, looking close at you, it was you who brought me back from Bush Park, thank you. Hey, you stupid! <laughs> Alright, well that's that, and now we have befriended even more Pokemon! I think we ha still have just what, like a couple which we haven't befriended in the Cove area. Uh, but besides that, that's about it. So, with that all out of the way, we're now going to be going back to the, um... We're now going to be going back to, uh, the place, the, the town, the town, the town place. What's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Cove Town! There, that's, that's what it was. Cove Town. Hey, I, I knew it. I, I was testing you guys, see if you knew it. That's stupid. I'll meet you. <laughs> I'll meet you guys back at Cove Town. Yeah, we're doing a lot of going around town, huh? Yeah. I see if that's what cool up there. Oh yeah, duh, we've seen that one before. <laughs> Alright, let's just go over to Cove Town. Welcome back to Party Central. Alright. Alright, so Cove Town. We also have a couple of things that we'd want to do in Cove Town. Uh notably. First of all, there is one other friend that we would like to make, and that is Munchlax here. We actually have not made a friend with Munchlax. Okay. Have you seen any purple berries? I think they're great. It would be super awesome if you brought me one. And that is those stinky berries. Those stinky, smelly, bad berries that are just... Oh god, you just... What the hell? You just ate my berries. Like, literally, you just ate my currency out of my pocket. Stab it! Alright, well, um, those purple berries that he's talking about are indeed those very stinky, stinky berries that you just find from bashing into trees, so... Like I said, bashing into trees, I just, just kind of walked past a tree. <laughs> but yeah, what you basically just want to do is not do what I'm doing. You just basically want to keep on running around, bashing trees, finding, uh, these stinky berries. Uh, it's probably not what they're called, I don't know. But just trying to find those, uh, stinky berries and then just, like, go get them over to much lax. No! Stop robbing me! Jerk. Okay, um, let's see here. I do believe if that can be the only tree in this entire place, is it? Because if so, that's, that's kind of sad. Please don't actually be the case. Nope, that's the ghetto. That's the court, that's the crab ghetto. I, I'm scared of that place. Uh, alright, well I suppose like for now, like while we can't find any stinky stuff, uh, what we're gonna do is actually what we're gonna do for a bit. Yeah, I know. Do it. Oh, there we go! It's so yummy! Have you seen any purple berries? Yeah, I don't know! Have I seen any purple berries? Okay, let's see. Will this jog your memory? Bam! Oh my god, seriously? Oh, that's it! That's it! Oh, these berries are just the best! It's okay if I eat them, right? Yeah, god, please, eat them. Oh, yeah, my tummy is so happy! Thanks! Alright, that's that. These berries are yummy, but lots of Pokemon don't like them. I know Purloin got really mad when I gave one to her. I guess everyone likes different things, huh? If you're not giving items to other Pokemon, oh yeah, here, this is for you. Thanks for the berries. You get three honey jars. And, uh, the point, the, that time when he's mentioning Purloin, he's mentioning more of the thing where you can get a cool jewel from Meowth, and then Purloin will just come and rob you. He's talking more about that. But anyway, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be going over to Crocodile, hopefully asking him for access to the next area we're supposed to be going to, which is the Crag area. And we're gonna be doing that right now, right now. Uh, okay, so we just gotta walk over to him, and apparently, Superior told me the news, you're going to the crack area, right? I'll open the gate for you, hang in there. And Pig Knight and Servine immediately come to Cove down to play. Oh, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. Alright, uh, and we're gonna be doing that bit... Crag area has skill battlers welcome. We're gonna be entering the crag area after making a couple of more friends here in Cove Town. 
Arbor area, relaxing, natural setting, classy and comfortable. And the one area that we haven't been to yet, tech area. Don't enter this gate unless you have a really good reason. Not the one area, but a area that we haven't entered yet. The tech area. Don't enter unless you have a really good reason. Yeah, kind of ominous, right? But we're not going to know about that until later. But for now, we can't do much with Pig Knight. However, with Servine, we have Snivy right here. And I think Servine could use an apprentice just like Raichu and Duat. I'm searching for just the right Pokemon to teach my moves. You look like you may have potential. Are you ready to learn the moves I know? Yes. Let's test your commitment. Battle with me. Alright, so same thing as before, just battle Servine with Snivy while Blitzel's running through there trying to distract you. Because that's what's supposed to happen. Oh god, okay, yeah, it is. Uh, okay, yeah, she will have the same moves as you. And she is more powerful than you, of course, so it is a one-sided battle, but not by too far. Uh, we'll just keep on dodging these, and yeah, that seems like a pretty working strategy. Uh, yeah, everybody hates her. Everybody attack her. Come on, that worked. Oh god, yeah, no. It's more like Pan Sage, attack everybody. <laughs> Yeah, let's just do this. Ah, that looks really nice. That looks really cool. Oh god, nope. Look at my style and elegance, girl. I got, I got big green lights all over me. I'm gonna whack you with them. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about the god? Everybody's just going crazy about this. Meanwhile, look at how far it took the fight. We started off in the plaza. We just ended up in this little corner over here in the grass. Just, jeez, man. <laughs> Good, I'll teach you my moves. Befriended Servine. Now we can... Uh, now we can power up uh, Snivy. Let's start your training. By the way, you have berries, right? You need berries for my training? Yes, of course, because we need to feed you. Geez. So, which we would like to learn? We have Leaf Storm, Leaf Tornado, and Dash Combo. We are going to learn Leaf Storm, which I haven't really... No, wait, sorry. Leaf Tornado, which I haven't really used, but it is a useful move. And I'm going to be powering that up. I should probably use it more in this case. Let's start your training. I knew you're special. You made the move on your own. Or <laughs> your own. <laughs> now, uh, because Snivy is just fast and amazing and powerful, why not just make her even faster with Blitzel? Because Blitzel powers up people's speed. And why not? Oh god. Okay, where did you go? I just want to dash off. I'll stay out of it. No, no, no. Come back into it. Drift back. Oh, Come in it. Drift Blitzel. Blitzel. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean it. Just please. Oh my god. R really? Bro. Okay, hey, 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 hey. I got something to say. I got something to say. Got something to say. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Oh no. I, 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 no, please. I'm fine. Thank you. Yes, that's fine. Sometimes. The main, like, when you're on the overworld just talking or just going around, you pretty much always want to have Snivy. It's like, okay, why not just have Snivy out for walking and why not just make her faster because of it? Hey, why not? Alright, Dash's speed is now level 1, so with that, we now have an even more powerful Dash, and okay, let's see what else we have. Uh, let's look at our pals. Um, okay, so I think from here, I'm going to power up our guys a little bit more. Specifically, I'm going to go over to Pikachu, and I want to upgrade his Dash combo, because... He, Pikachu's um, Iron Tail, or whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's Iron Tail, is a fantastic move. So we're going to go with Dash Combo 2. Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm powering up right now. But it's not like it's a bad thing, because it's a great move. And now we're going to see a better montage. He did better. That's my apprentice for you. You completely powered up. And by that you mean by, hey, you did better. <laughs> All right, and I think I think we're doing pretty well from from that point. So yeah, uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I would like to power up Snivy's HP. I know I'm not really powering up Oshawa a lot, but Oshawa's already amazing. He's fine. I just want to power up Oshawa or Snivy a little bit more. So we're just gonna go with HP on Snivy. Just, ugh, I, I love Golf Town. I'm sorry, just, everybody just wants to help you. It's just great. Thank you. 
by the end they're lifting 100 pounds of steel, iron, titanium. <laughs> Alright, well yeah, that's that. Uh, there are these crates over here, which I noticed. Uh, what do these? I have not gotten up these. Uh, okay, there is a Pokemon here. What is it? Chinchino's up here. Fantastic. I don't know why I haven't talked to you. Oh, I ate too much in Wish Park. We should play Chase. Oh, psh, absolutely. We just powered up um, Snivy's uh, speed. Let's see how much faster she is. Okay, please chase me. Oh god, just off the off the building. I think she died. Yeah. Oh, you can see her on the map. Okay. Oh yeah, we're fast. Uh. Also, I just knocked out my apprentice. I don't think she wants to train me anymore. Shakespeare, and she's gonna go to the right. Yep. Okay. And then. Okay. Yeah. Just Shakespeare doesn't work too well when you're cutting corners. Please don't turn right. Oh god, I thought you were going to. Oh god. Uh, that's not working too well at all. Okay. Yes. 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 Uh, oh my god, really? Oh, no, this isn't good, this isn't good, there's a lot to here. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, we're in a good situation. Come on, there we go! Oh, yeah! That was good! Exercise is so much fun. I needed that. Thank you. Get a bunch of berries and befriended Chinchino, who you rescued quite a while ago. We just haven't got around to befriending her just because I didn't know she would be hiding on top of this rooftop. Jeez, man. All right. And with that out of the way, I think we've done a lot in Cove Town. I believe, actually, that's about it. Uh, hmm. Because, let's see here. Let's see in the Cove area what we have. Wow. Samurai, which we can't do yet. Wow, we've bef yeah, we've literally befriended everybody we possibly can. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, so we'll just carry on now to the crag area. Maybe make some new friends, maybe make a new life, maybe make a new Aphrodite. What the heck, man? Let's just go to Rockridge Ford, the crag area, <laughs> so I can stop singing. Rockridge Fort. So, Craggery is a very mountainous like area. Rockridge Fort is ahead. Now, this area, I really like the Crag area. It's awesome. There, It's just so gigantic. Like, you can see in the map, there's just this big circular area in the middle. It's just awesome. Just all the people there. And, oh, wow. Just, I, I really like this place. It's, it's just a really cool place. We just battle hardy everybody, really. Speaking of battle hardy, here's Bonsai. <laughs> I came here from the army to play, but I'm so tired. Too tired to move. Please carry me. Just the entrance, please. I want to see Rockridge Fort. Sure, why not? Thank you. <laughs> so, we're just going to be carrying Bonsai as we come through here. There is a vast white quill up there. But yeah, this area is quite large, and there are a lot of layers to it. Like, you can tell on the, on the, uh, on the little map down there. The, basically, the darker a part of the map is the lower it is and you can see a bunch of different shades of green on the map so yeah there are multiple layers it's pretty big and uh yeah victini's there we are we're not yeah sorry we're not dealing with you just yet because victini's here hey have any of you seen my friend did your friend disappear too leave it to us i'm sure we'll find him really you look for tepe thank you he usually spends his time training in rockridge fort but i haven't seen him at all lately Okay, we just have to look inside Rockridge Fort. Yes, thank you. Oh yeah, to get inside Rockridge Fort, you need the secret word. I'll get in trouble if I tell it to you, so I'll just give you a hint. The hint is, it's important, but it doesn't mean anything when you're alone. Okay then, I'll go look in the Coliseum on the other side of Rockridge Fort. Because she can just fly. Victini is like the cutest legendary. Like, she is the cutest thing. Alright, Bastiodon being a guardian, how fitting. I can't let anyone pass unless they know the secret word. It's related to the motto of the Craggy Area, so if you know it, tell me. The motto is courage and... What's the secret word? Well, what is good without... <laughs> okay, basically, what is useful, but you basically need other people for it. That's kindness. Correct! <laughs> the Craggy Area's motto is courage and kindness. Okay, you may pass. Did you come here to watch the battle tournament? It looks like many tech Pokemon will participate this time. It should be extra exciting. Alright, now we can enter. We already see a Gibble in there. There's a bunch of very strong Pokemon here. Now, I'm going to have to carry Bond Slide back, as for some reason he decided to run away the back. Blah, blah, blah. Salty rocks. Uh, now, Vast White Quill that I saw. Where would that be? Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, we need to leap of faith. God, no. Alright, well, 
Let's just carry bots lie in there. Take a quick look at the Coliseum, and then we might end this off. Uh, yeah, 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 you're tired. I got you, bro. I got you, Bonsley. Yeah, no, bond slide. Jeez. Je I, yeah. Oh my god. This guy just never shuts up. Oh, apparently you only need to carry him all the way to here. Okay. Yay, we're here. Thank you. You might have noticed that I've just give, get, been giving everybody just ridiculous voices. Like, I've been changing everybody's voices a lot. Alrighty then, I'll look around Rockford Fort now. Bye-bye. Because apparently he just knows the password. And now he can just run. Like, what the heck? So, I guess he just needed help getting up this, like, little slope up here. Uh, bam. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Now, just check this place out. We just have a prime. Maybe everything makes me angry. Well, he's, he is uh, probably very similar to, uh, you know, Mr. The Man over there. Um, prime. Oh, but Mankey. There's this big spiral going up and across, splitting into multiple paths. We have a Darumaka there. You have a Darmantan over there and a Zenmo Darmantan over here. Just have a Gibble, which is the first thing that we see. Oh, wow. Krogunk. Oh, wow. It's just great. And, of course, over there in the throne, you see Ambor himself. And, yeah, we, we have some importance here. Speaking of Ambor, I don't know if this is the place, but yes, it is. Just like in the uh, Arba area and the uh, Cove area, you have a big statue of their leader, and look at that statue of Embor. That is awesome. The, that, that guy right there has an awesome statue of himself. Alright, well, we are going to explore further around this place, this awesome, awesome area, next time. Alright, guys, so anyway, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more on Pokemon and all other things Nintendo. I'm the Sky Spire, punching me out in the face just because I like it. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, bam. And, until then.